Hello everyone, James Donaldson here with The Contemporary Gentleman, and I'm bringing you a video on my Banana Republic Tactical Everyday Carry Pants. James, they don't make those. Well, of course they do. They're right here. Let's check them out. Diving right into the meat and potatoes, let's start off with the why. Why is this video relevant? Well, let's look at it this way for a couple of reasons. One, if you go back and look at the second video I made, just push right on through the uh, kind of par at best production quality and pay attention to what I'm saying, you're going to learn all about appearance, keeping up a certain kind of appearance, partly because society gauges people a certain way. Is it right? No. Um, is it how things are? Yes. Can you take advantage of it? Absolutely. So, that's what these pants help you do. Maybe someone who's normally not open to talking to strangers, you look more presentable, they're more open to talking to you, um, and maybe you're a spy, you need some information, maybe your car broke down and you just need a ride to the gas station. Appearance is a big way people are going to judge how they're going to interact with you. Again, check out that video. The next part is an assailant trying to pick somebody out, they're going to underestimate you if you look a certain way versus another. Once again, take advantage of that. Once again, refer back to that other video. Um, it's going to tell you all about kind of that mentality. So, um, next, I actually do like to dress nice. I refuse to let um, conceal carrying get in the way of that or the other way around. So, people aren't going to conceal carry if they can't be comfortable or they can't wear things that they need or want to wear. So, um, I have kind of set out to push the boundaries of what kind of weapon I could carry with what kind of clothing I could wear to the limits. I'm kind of just pressing both sides apart. So, how is this relevant? Again, uh, it's all about what you can get away with as far as how big a weapon and how nice of clothing. So, getting into it, let's talk banana public pants. What is the relevance of specifically banana republic? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, I had this ridiculous campaign where I refused to wear shorts other than athletic shorts for working out and swim shorts for, of course, swimming. So, I need a pair of pants that isn't too heavy. Some pairs of khakis are heavier. Uh, these are a lighter pair. Is there lighter? Possibly. Uh, and I'll talk about that shortly. Moving forward. Um, these pants are credible at allowing you to conceal weapons for reasons we're going to get into. Also, as I kind of talked about creating the illusion, Banana Republic specifically, again, for all the reasons I'm about to lay out, course help you with that as well, creating the illusion. So, uh, let's go ahead and move to our next category, which is durability. This is what happens when you forget your ear pro. Take a lap, kid. Faster. Yep. Alright, so as you can see, the pants do a good job of allowing for movement. Now, you, you never see me in any of the videos you've seen so far, the clips, me adjusting the pants at all. And part of the reason for this is these stylish pants are set up to fit you, which means that the distance from the crotch to the waist is going to be fitted, so closer to where you are. Now, everyone's created a little bit differently, but it's tighter and closer 
than say a pair of jeans, um, which you can kind of appearance wise get away with a little baggier pair. However, for instance, you're never going to have to hike these pants up to step onto something or to sit down or anything like that. Instead, these pants are going to move with you. Uh, if you look into some of the more aggressive camouflage you can buy these days, it usually is more fitted, uh, or as they call it, it has an athletic fit. Well, that's basically what these pants have achieved by being styled the way they're styled. So, moving to the next part. Um, the durability, as I said, is pretty impressive. Um, to give you an idea, uh, these pants for concealed carry have to put up with a lot. Namely, the weight of a weapon, especially when you consider the types of weapons I've been carrying. Uh, again, oversizing to see what I can get away with. Um, that's a lot of weight pushing down on the waistline. Also, because a belt is pulling everything together, you have holsters pushing out on the waistline. On top of that, um, this has a lot of weight pushing down because I'm adding the weight of the magazine. So this is what I've been carrying with lately, basically since last April, May-ish. That's a good weight test. This was a good durability test because this style of uh, holster, which is what I used to carry, uh, especially with specifically this pair of pants, is these metal clips. Now, um, while they do usually go over the belt, they're still rubbing across the top of the pants, even though they're not necessarily putting pressure. So, I carry it to the 3 and 4 o'clock, and if you look here, there's very minimal signs of wear and definitely no damage. On top of this, there are many times that I would put the clips over the pants themselves and the belt would move, go around it. So, there, all the force of the clips, all their abuse is mainly going to be taken out on the waistline of the pants. So, for the pants to have held up um, for as long as they have, which the life of these pants, you're looking into a year to two years um, with just, you know, per pair which is pretty impressive. Again, I wear khakis a lot. As I said, I don't wear shorts. So I wear khakis pretty much all spring and summer. I wear them a lot of the fall and a lot of the winter. Um, basically, it's khakis or pants for me. Or, excuse me, <laughs> khakis or jeans for me. Uh, always pants. So, um, let's talk the last part. Now, Dumpy Butt, what is it? Well, Dumpy Butt is basically when your pants don't quit, fit quite right, so they're baggy where your butt is. It looks like you either don't have a butt or you lost a lot of weight, or um, you just don't know how to size pants correctly, especially if they're pants that are supposed to be fitted. Now, jeans, you can kind of get away with a little more, uh, of having a baggier fit in the rear end, but uh, pants like these you really can't get away with. And also, pants being fitted like this, things could get tight not just in the waistline by wedging, especially a larger weapon in there. So, solution? Getting slim fit fitted pants from Banana Republic and sizing them a size larger because then they don't fit and look too tight. Some people like that look, I don't, but they don't fit and look too tight and yet you're not going to have dumpy butt and you can comfortably carry a weapon in the waistband. So, the Banana Republic chinos have been a great way for me to look good, feel confident, not look like a threat, and also carry a weapon on me um, really without any issues whatsoever. So, Caveats and variables. Um, basically, I would be open to trying out a lighter weight pant, especially for the summer. I will say that my only hesitation, maybe even fear, would be losing in the durability department. Uh, I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but usually if you're going to go for a lighter weight, thinner, things like that, you are going to lose out on durability but it's not a guarantee. So, if anyone wants to send me a pair of pants they want me to try, judge them as far as style, fit, durability, 
I'd be more than happy to. But for right now, when it comes to my tactical needs and my everyday carry needs, the Banana Republic chinos are where it's at. So, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up down below. Of course, you can always leave comments in the comments section. And great ways to support us include subscribing to my channel for more crazy and ludicrous videos like this, but then conversely down-to-earth videos such as gun safety. And naturally, I would love it if you join us on Patreon. And that way we can help fix things like production quality. <laughs> always the last one to go. So, this has been James Donaldson with The Contemporary Gentleman. And until next time, keep your composure.